and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Ian, where are you? I'm so sorry, I'm stuck at work. What? You're joking. How long will you be? Oliver arranged an interview for a new pastry chef. They were supposed to be here hours ago, but they've only just arrived. At some huge hold-up on the motorway. Can't Oliver just do it? No, not on his own. Look, hopefully it won't take too long, but I absolutely have to be here. Ian, you've got half the things we need. The float, all the stuff from the cash and carry, Look, the juice. No, it's, it's OK, Lottie. I'm already sorted it. Adam will be here any minute to pick everything up from me. He's coming to help with the disco? Oh, no, no, definitely not. He's just agreed to do this to save my skin. He'll drop everything off to you and then go straight back to work. OK. Well, if there's nothing I can say to guilt trip you into being here, I'd better get out of this store cupboard and face the mob. Lovey, you've got this. I still can't believe you're abandoning me. I'm going to dream up a suitably terrible punishment for you. <sighs> Like a job for life in a soft play centre or kazoo lessons for Zelda. Uh, sounds great. Oh, look, Adam's just got here. I better go. Um, good luck. Thanks, Ian. I'm going to need it. Oh, hi, Emma. Hi, Fallon. Hey, Fallon, have you got a minute? Uh, yeah, a minute. I heard you handed your notice in at the tea room. Have you finished already? Uh, no, I, I'm doing a few more weeks. Right. Yeah, end of an era. I'm heading back there now, uh, just grabbing some peppermint tea. We used the last bag and you know how Natasha hates to run out. She'd rather pay village shop prices than tell a customer that we don't have something on the menu. Yeah. Hey, so what's next? I've been offered a unit at the EV charging station, though I'm, I'm keeping it as quiet as I can until it's all signed and sealed. Congratulations. Harrison must be so pleased for you. Yeah. Um, uh, how about you? What are you up to? Oh, you know, keeping busy. I'm on my way to the stables right now. Kira's going to try and encourage Martha to have a proper ride on Champion. Oh, OK. I'm meeting Alice there too. Really? I mean, uh, that's nice, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, I'd better get back. Yeah, of course. Don't want to leave all the closing up to Chelsea. Hello, Emma. Oh, hi. I'm glad I spotted you, because, uh, well, I didn't know if I should come round or, or ring or, or just text. What about? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. It's about the visit on Friday. I wondered if I'd be able to get a lift with you. Uh, what visit? To see George. I got an email from the prison. For this Friday? Yeah. I haven't had one yet. Oh. Well, I just thought, well, don't you, don't you would have. Uh, when did you get yours? Mine might have gone into spam. Uh, yesterday afternoon, late afternoon. And what does it say? Is that Clay? I mean, were there contact details in the email? Someone I can ring directly and speak to? Uh, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll check. Yeah, I wonder if Will's got one yet. That's mum. Uh, she's given me a lift to Grey Gables. I I've got to go. Yeah, OK, no worries. Hey, message me if you find that phone number. Will do. Hey, and of course you can have a lift. Be nice for George to have a mate visit as well as his mum and dad. Thank you. Ian, where are you? I'm just walking to my car now. I'll be there soon. It's going to be over by the time you make it. I know. Look, I'm really sorry. And the interview was a waste of time in the end. The guy was rubbish. He barely knew his font out from his main view. Nightmare. Yeah, how's it going? It's boiling. The kids are like one big bubbling cauldron. A mass of witches' hats and Halloween masks. A spooky masks. Sorry. Every child has cried at least once. Too much ketchup, not enough. They lost their wand, their mask, their friend. I'm losing my mind. But is everyone having fun? Well, Adam is. What? Adam? 
I'm still there. Whatever he had planned went out the window when he was handed the ketchup by Luca's mum. <laughs> that was him then, stationed hot dog for the rest of the disco. What, and is he coping? I think so. Well, maybe after this I can persuade him to join the committee after all. We can be the dynamic dad duo of school fundraisers. <laughs> oh, steady on. <laughs> Oh, look, I better get back to it. Some of the parents are starting to turn up to collect their kids. Okay, um, look, I'll see you really soon. You betcha. I've got a sweeping brush here with your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how relaxed Martha is with Kira. There's no way she'd let me lead her around like that. They're doing well, aren't they? Mm. They're a good team. Before you got here, Martha was telling Joanna and me in no uncertain terms that she wasn't going to ride champion this afternoon. Then along comes Kira and she does a complete U-turn. <laughs> Within seconds, she's chattering on about how she loves Champion. She's a grown-up girl who rides horses. Huge grin on her face. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if she never rides competitively, but I'd love to think she'd get some of the joy from riding that I've got over the years. Yeah. I love seeing the way Kira lights up when she's with the horses. Especially at the minute. I'm actually quite worried about her. What about Kira? But I thought she seemed all right at Apple Day. We had a long chat about Sunday's hack. Yeah, and she's going off to school every morning without a fuss. But when she gets home, she's always sullen or angry and she shuts herself in her room and even wants to eat in there. Well, there's been a lot going on for her. A lot to process. Yeah, I know. And I'm trying to stay calm when she snaps at me. But I'm not doing very well. I can't work out whether she lets the mask fall at home because it's where she feels she can. Or if she actually properly hates me for ringing the police. Oh, no, I'm sure she doesn't hate you. I mean, if it's complicated for us, it must feel impossible for a teenager. Yeah. If I hear anyone else tell me that time heals, I think I'm going to scream. But hopefully they're right. Oh, look, Martha's laughing. <laughs> I wonder what's so funny. Oh, well, <laughs> Kira can be hilarious when she wants to be. Her and... Um, her and her brother used to... it, You know, you don't have to avoid saying his name. No, but, um... Well, you know. It, it was good to see you and Chris talking again the other evening. Yeah, we didn't really talk about anything important, but, yeah. It was nice just being a bit silly together. <laughs> Chris showed me the apple prints you did. Hey, and what about that peel prediction? A love interest beginning with silly? <laughs> <laughs> Just a silly superstition. <laughs> yeah, but anyone can see you two are still close. It's hard not to be when we share a daughter. Could it ever be more than that? Well, throughout all this, he kept his faith in me. It counts for a lot. <laughs> yeah, that'll be it. What do you mean? It's only because Chris is so loyal you look at him that way. What way? Oh, I don't know. It was if you might still have a little flame flickering. <laughs> Yeah, well, too much has happened to uh, even go there. Plus, Hannah has the hots for him. Oh, so? Well, you don't like her? I don't think she's right for Chris. Uh, it looks like Martha might have had enough. OK, we could walk over and meet them. Oh, hang on. Let me just check this. Chainsaw and marketing. I'm expecting an email from the prison. Brad got a visiting request yesterday and um, I haven't got one yet. Oh, don't know whether it's got delayed somehow or, or gone astray or whether he doesn't want to see me. Did you contact the prison? Could you ask them to check? I did finally get through and spoke to someone who just told me to send an email. I keep checking, nothing yet. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Well, what, what does it say? I don't know, I'm too nervous to open it. It was just the two glasses of wine, wasn't it, Ian? Oh, yes, please, Fallon. <sighs> OK. I didn't realise you worked at the Bull. Oh, no, I don't. I know I'm only stepping in for an hour or two while Kenton's at the Cash and Carry. They're doing the catering for the ploughing match tomorrow. Uh, Fallon manages the tea room. No, <laughs> they're not for long. Really? Yeah. I'm going to be moving on. Got something exciting up my sleeve. Well, possibly exciting, possibly terrifying, one <laughs> or the other. Uh, Adam did hint at something, but I wasn't sure how common knowledge it was yet. Oh, 
can you tell us more? Oh, um, not yet. I'm, I'm holding off on big announcements until I've got all my ducks in a row. But uh, yeah, I feel really energised by it all. I'm ready for a change. <laughs> Whereas poor Lottie is totally de-energised. Oh, otherwise known as school disco drain. <laughs> <laughs> so serious. Yeah, keeping a hall full of hyped kids, both safe and happy, is no laughing matter. Oh, well, here's your much-deserved reward. Two large glasses of wine. Oh. Evening, gents. Lovely. Just surviving. <laughs> surviving. <laughs> Hi, Ian. Mm. Hi, Alice. Um, have you met Lovie? Uh, I think so. Hey, Pip's friend? That's right. <laughs> and you have a little girl? Uh, yes, Martha. I just dropped her at her dad's after a pretty successful session riding the pony she doesn't much like. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a win, then. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Join in with our celebration? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? Just celebrating surviving a school disco. Uh, yeah, so I don't really deserve to be here. <laughs> he managed to rock up after most of the kids had left. Though, I have to say, you were a whiz with the broomie and flying round the hall. <laughs> that sounds suitably spooky. <laughs> Although, really, it should be Adam out celebrating. Oh. He stood in for me with a smile, by all accounts. Did he? Oh, good for him. <laughs> I think he was pretty eager to go home and watch kids' TV with Zander and Maddie. His social battery was running on empty long before the music was turned oh. off. <laughs> You're right. In fact, his actual words were... I'm never going out again. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fair. It's not normally as cup of tea. Hey, Alice, what can I get you? Oh, uh, an elderflower tonic with ice, please. Okay. Hey, how's Harrison finding being back full time? Uh, all right, so far. But it's always more than full time, to be honest. You know, he's been home really late after catching up with paperwork most evenings this oh. week. Well, uh, hopefully it will settle down once he's back in rhythm. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, hi Emma. Do, do you want to come in? Or oh, No, you're all right. The prison emailed me. Well, that's good, isn't it? What's wrong? Not with a visit request. They emailed to say that George never put in a request to see me. Oh. Why would he invite you and not me? I mean, I know he was mad at me at first, but I, I thought we'd got past that. He sent a message to say he'd be okay, like he wasn't holding it against me. But now, what am I supposed to think? He'd rather see you than his own mum. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I should not be taking this out on you. I, I'm glad you're going to see him. Are you? Yeah, I really am. And I'll still drive you there on Friday. Oh, there's no need. No, I'd like to. Jazza says he'll take me. He's off work on Friday. He's supposed to be finishing up some jobs in the house. He says he's happy to have an excuse to escape. Oh. Okay, then. Yeah. Have you got everything you need? Your ID? I think so. I've got my provisional driving licence. And you know what to expect? Not really, but, you know... I was looking at the guidance, preparing myself. Right. I can send you the link. OK. Thanks. Right. i better get off. Emma? Yeah? I'll let you know how he is, after, when I get back. Thanks, Brad, that would be good. OK, then. And it's nice that... George wants to see you. He must really miss you. I, I do the spot effects on the arches. I just uh, yeah, any Are you what we call foley then? Uh, kind of, yep. That's okay. Uh, and and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep. That's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep. That's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him financially, mine, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help him, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever